upside down again. Mm. Oh, this thing is heavy. You are strong. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Once we put all the sides in here, there's a part of it. It's so heavy. Good morning, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're continuing on with this house. And we are going to be putting up the side sheets in this episode. We're going to get it all sealed up as a square box. Except the back, that's going to have a gate which we open. And uh, yeah, we have a bit of a problem already because we miscalculated. We made these beams, on, uh, specifically we made them 2 meters. And the sheets are 2 meters exactly and we did not calculate off the top and bottom. But on the top in theory it cannot go anyways because of the thing. So I guess maybe we are in luck because we're going to attach it here at the bottom, in the middle and at the top. So yeah, we need to attach first the woodies that go in between. I'm thinking about if I want to oil them. But I really don't feel like oiling every single piece, even though maybe it's worth it. But I think it's going to be perfectly fine. We will see. In the future, we can always come back and oil the things that we want. But uh, for now, we're just going to leave it. We want to get the boys out because it's super nice weather. Today, we, only ha we already have 10 degrees. So it's really nice. We want to get the girls out. So we want to get the boys away from the girls because they are... They're not going to be okay when the girls are next to them. So they need to be as far as possible from the girls. Let's get started by cutting in the woods. So it's all the woodies are done on this side. We're gonna get the sheets up now. You might be wondering why is it one up one down? It's so we can screw it on so they're not against each other. Then we'd have to use like something like an angle, uh, like a bracket to screw it on, which would be less strong and more re like wasteful for resources. So this looks good. And we also did a bit of a mess up with the see-through sheet. It's directly on the beam. Of course, we cannot adjust that. That is how the roof was going. But on the other side, for example, we did it without the beam. Yes. So we should have just done it all in a line. Yeah, because we're, we here we forgot it and there we remembered it. Yeah. It's okay. We have to deal yeah. with what it I is. I want the next <laughs> see-through sheet to go here, so it's going to be also this beam visible. I mean, it's kind of cool to be that visible as well, but, you know, it would be nice if it was directly in yeah. the center. <laughs> it's also more light in theory, but yeah. Let's get okay. the sheets up and see how it looks. Yes. I'm really excited to see. If it doesn't look like a container too much. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's just try it on. Okay. Thank you. 
So on the other side we finished up all the framing, all the wood for the sheet, but it is getting late now, sun is already setting. I'm just going to finish up the top layer of the nails and screws and then tomorrow we're going to move on to the other side. We are leaving here the gap and the end empty just because this is like a small piece, either we cut it or we try to bend it over because it does bend a bit. Don't know if that's the best thing to do with this material, if it's going to crack after a while, if it does not like the bending. But we're first going to do the other side and see if we have any sheets left for that specific thing. If we can just cut it or if we bend it, if we don't have enough sheets. Yeah, we'll see if we have leftover yeah. for that. So let's finish up okay. and go inside and see you tomorrow. So we have the next day, let's continue on the other side and keep going and hopefully finish it today. So we actually decided to bend them. It seems to work fine, we did one and it seemed to be fine. 
It's my worry is that over time it's just gonna crack open from the pressure. But I hope it's just gonna stay with the bend because we had a lot of them last year. They were sitting on a pile and something was underneath. Like if there's like a stone underneath, it will take that shape of the stone without cracking. So let's hope that that's what happens. It takes the shape of the building and it stays that way. So let's Let's continue. call it because that's a two people job. <laughs> Pepper, do you like it? <laughs> so that's pretty much it. It is all done. We have closed up the whole, all the walls, so it is interior watertight, except the floor is missing and we need to close up the tops and some few more things we need to add, but that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. We don't, need to, don't know yet what to do with the floors and uh, we'll decide that. I forgot to say that. We have not decided exactly how to do it. We do need it leaking through, so it needs to drain all, all the liquids. So it needs to be really, really good for that. But hope you enjoyed and we're gonna see you next time. Bye bye.